A year ago, in about August 2023, I came to Kenya and the Pacific to take up my container and I discovered that here a scene that somebody is connected to a trailer and was not so and was doing some did not expect to see in his right fans. And now he jumped on the oh, oh I did not realize what he is doing now. He was stealing fuel. But at that time I a year ago, I did not know that he was stealing fuel. So I came to him, I took that video, and I stopped. Uh, I have a habit of taking videos for everything that runs across my way. So I stopped him, I went to him, I told him, are you uh, connecting to that container? It is mine. You cannot take it out of the yard. He said, no, I am waiting for the, for the dispatch. I told him, okay, uh, how much time do you need? He said, no problem, it will take me a few minutes. I told him, I am not in a hurry. So he disconnected, drove away, and about maybe a quarter of a mile on the other side of the yard, he hooked another CR England container. That was August 2000. 23. Look what's going to happen. This guy is very alone. On that day, on this video, I have a chat with him. I told him my name is so and so. I got his name. We exchanged phone numbers and I like his truck stick shift. I never suspected that he is going to be in prison. I never suspected he, is go he was doing something wrong. That was in August 2023. Look what happened after that. Then I received a message from my, my dispatch a year later saying that we are having fuel theft at Union Pacific. That was a year later, which means August 2024. This month. I remember we have, when my manager said, we have theft, fuel theft in Union Pacific, and we are going to move our containers to a certain spot front where there is a, a video camera on the top of the building spot from 0 to 30 that's close to the door. That time I sent to the manager that video that you just saw. I told him that is the guy I suspect that is the person who is stealing fuel. The manager said, no, this guy works for us. He is the contractor. I said, but I saw him doing... He said, okay, no problem. I am going to pass the video. The following day, hear what happened. I came to the yard. I saw the exact scene. Watch that, watch that video. The same truck connected to, this, to my container. No, this is not my container, but this is our container. So I was already driving, you, you can see, I made a U-turn, I hid behind the container, as you see it, he cannot see me, but I can see him. And he is connecting to that container of us. He was doing the same pattern of behavior. He is not connected to the container, but he hooked to it. He's not from CR England. So at that time, I called the manager, but let me show you the next video. Here is the second video. It was taken a few days ago. Here is the, he's screening his uh, right side, but he already did something. On the, it seems like he had a, a system, like an, a pump, that he connected to the trailer, to the container, intermodal container, and siphons the fuel to his own truck, to his own tank. Here is video number three. Here you go. You can see this video. And there's a video, I have it a year ago. He goes to the container, connect the fuel tank of the reefer to his fuel tank, and he has a system of siphoning the fuel, bumping the fuel from one side to another. Let me play it again. I'm going to zoom. He is squatting on the or the catwalk top of his drive, and he is doing something fixing the, his fueling system, right here. He stood and he did something else. 
So now I took three videos and I did a U-turn. I went to the other side behind him. And I took the container number 533113. And I called the manager. I told him, can you tell me 533113? Whose container is that? The manager, his name is Colin. He said, this is not grounded yet. It is coming tomorrow. But no. This is grounded and somebody is hooked to it and somebody is stealing the fuel from it. That is the guy I sent to you a video yesterday. He said, can you send me the videos? I said, give me a minute. I started sending the videos to the email. It was rejected. Why? It was over 50 megabyte each. Each one was over 50 megabyte. I send him again, it failed again. Then I send him a message, I told him it is over 50 megabytes and your email does not take him. He gave me his phone number. He said, can you text it to my phone number? He started texting them, opening a new text message. Well, I have a problem. Putting the number, the phone number, try to attach the dash for the phone, anyway. It took half an hour while I'm with him. I told him I tried three times to get the videos. Then his, I said, let me try again. He said, I got the videos. I'm loading now. Then the message said, I, I got the videos. He said, relief. When I started driving around the block, he was gone. By the time I finished the turn, the manager calling called me. He said, can you please do me a favor? He said, what is it? He said, can you take that container and fuel it? I said, I am already fueling this. He said, fueling it. He said, are you fueling? Are you taking it to the yard? I said, what container? He said, 533. I said, no, 533113. It is not my container. I have my container and I'm going to fuel my container. He said, can you fuel the one 533113 after you finish yours? I said, no problem. Send it to my uh, dispatch. I will take care of it. Then I called him again. I told him, are you sure you want me to touch that container before you do fingerprints? He said, we already got them. The Union Pacific Cotton, they are going to the audit them. The next day, Colin gathered everybody in a huddle call and he acknowledged the fact that we got the guy. We got the guy who steal our fuel. Let me see what happened after that. I finish my work and I have to go back and get the container and fuel it. And here is how I did it. I took to the container to the... It's, it's empty. This is a trailer I reported about six hours ago that somebody was stealing fuel from it. The guy who was stealing fuel, I caught him about a year ago, but I don't know. I didn't know that you can somebody stupid enough or smart enough to steal fuel from a container in Union Pacific. This is a serious crime. So a year ago, that person driving the red uh, Peter Birch was hooking to one of my trailers. This is the trailer I reported today. So I took a video a year ago, that is in August last year, for somebody hooking to my container without just justification. Uh, okay, we have seen you. Without justification. I didn't know about stealing fuel. So, if you get from the manager's body that carriers are suffering from fuel theft in Union Pacific. That handed me, gave me a hint about that guy. So I sent right away, that was a day. 
yesterday. I sent the message with the video clip to the manager. Same here. Chris, what the guy? And he is like a wrestler, very well built, uh, a Native American that spoke to Michael Taylor when I asked him about it. He said he was waiting for the dispatch. Then he disconnected and walked away and another container and repeated the process. At that time, last year, I didn't know that he was still in the field. I did have a conversation with him, I took his phone number. It was a friendly, cordial discussion. I gave him my name, my phone number, his name and the phone number. I have no suspicions that he was doing something criminal. And today, by coincidence, your coincidence, that you have no work for me, because they asked me to do local trips at 2 o'clock after So I had, I came here about 2 o'clock by accident. There is no intention. Once I do my container, I discover that that person with the red Peter belt was hooking to this container. So I drove around, had the containers, and showed the three videos that you see them in this video, I shoot the three clips for him walking to my container. And then I made a turn around the block and I came here, I took a picture of this container. Then I called my manager again. I told him, listen, yesterday I sent you a clip about the guy. Tell me, what is the container 533113? He said, it is not going to come today, it is on the train, we'll arrive tomorrow. I said, no. No, the container arrived, is grounded. The container is here in the yard, and somebody is connected to it, and that person was the red Peter Belt. Track. And he told me, okay, send me the pictures, the videos. I tried to send the videos, they were over 50 megabytes, each one of them. So I one, two, three, he kept telling me I did not receive them by email. I said they are too big. He gave me his phone number. I said to them to express this phone number. He did not he did not get it. He kept back and forth, back and forth. And he got the clips. While he was Loves, and I am fueling that poor container. It was empty. Here is how much fuel I have to put 92 gallons, and that is how much money he stole a hundred, a hundred gallon of diesel from this container alone. And he was going around with the containers. It seemed like he has a, a system he can get out of thousand dollars a day. Here is the container now is filled almost not yet. 
I work every day. I, I make between 200, 300 dollars a day, busting my ass delivering goods to the public. And that smart guy, he is not smart. I am going home to sleep in my own bed. I'm a free man, making little money. He made over 2,000 a day, stealing fuel, but now he is in prison. You have to go to the driver to come here to the fuel station to the trailer. That's a long process. It's not fun to come here. But Salt Lake West, Salt Lake City, not fun at all. Go to the airport, be a security guard. This is a part of security guard, because this is a high crime.